Hey guys, so I'm back with my postpartum favorites video. So I am about three weeks postpartum. I just had baby boy on August 20th. So um, I am kind of like in recovery mode. And man, this was a much different birth than my first. My first um, daughter, she was induced. Um, and she was about 7 pounds, 19 inches. Baby boy came exactly on his due date, not induced. Um, he came in at over 9 pounds, 21 inches. So it was completely different. And my recovery was a lot harder this time. Maybe because of he was his, just basically he was so big. Also, I'm older. So I was really like hurting for the first two weeks. I'm on week three now, so things are a lot better. But there are definitely some things I wanted to share. And I did this video for the first birth. And I definitely want to do it for the second time around. Because it's like I've got some old and new things I want to share with you. So if you're a mama to be... Um, or you know somebody who's going to have a baby, this is a great video to kind of share and even to gift um, for like a shower. I, if someone had gifted me like a postpartum or like a personal wellness basket, I would have loved that. Because um, everybody usually gets stuff for the baby, but I think it's really nice to be able to like celebrate the mom too and give her some things. So I have a list I've been kind of keeping and I'm going to share them with you. So check out my Amazon store below. I'll have a link which will lead to the postpartum favorites in case you're interested in any of these items. Most of them are from Amazon or like Walmart, Target kind of vibe. So the first thing I have is this water bottle. Now I shared this in my labor bag packing video. Um, I bought this from Walmart. It says the brand is Bubba. I love this thing. I use it every single day um, and I brought it with me to the hospital and I have it with me like whenever I breastfeed feed because you're so dehydrated um you're producing milk and it's coming out so you need liquids coming back in so i drink a multiple i fill this up at least two to three times a day even more sometimes so i'm definitely getting in my water intake and i'm a lot thirstier um so i make sure to have this with me and i just fill it with ice and water and the, it stays cold for like yeah, up to two days the ice will not melt over two days and that makes me drink more water when it's really cold so good it's a little bit heavy but that's because it's insulated but what i love about it is that it's got the straw and it folds down and i can put this like on a carabiner or hold it it makes it a lot easier to transport my daughter who's three loves this too and she always drinks out of it when i have it around so that's really great that she's like you know drinking lots of water too and kind of seeing that mommy does it's a good um habit to have the second thing I want to show you is something I also packed in my labor and delivery bag. Um, I use this during pregnancy. I use it at the hospital and I'm using it postpartum and this is a heating pad. This is a new heating pad I actually bought from Amazon in the like week or two coming up to my baby delivery because my back was really, really hurting. Um, a lot of back pains during pregnancy. So this one is like a heavier, dutier kind of velvet and it has a strap, a belly strap. It's funny because this belly strap did not fit me when I was pregnant, but it will fit me now, obviously, um, now that my belly's gone down. But it's just a really nice heating pad. Um, the strap is why I got it because I found that the other heating pads would kind of slide up and down. I needed it really targeted. So interestingly enough, after I had the baby, I had a lot of back pain, I still do. And it's mainly the top left of my back. Um, and it's so bad that I can't lay on my back flat without the heating pad. It's getting a little bit better, but the doctor said that's really normal to have back pain. Sometimes it's from the epidural, sometimes it's just your body, the hormones kind of like getting back into shape. So this is a really nice heating pad. I wish I had gotten it sooner in my pregnancy. I was using my old one, which was kind of cheap, but this thing is gonna be like one of those things that you just need around your house forever. So man, if you're pregnant or about to have um, about to go into labor delivery just for postpartum this back heating this heating pad for my back has been such a great pain reliever um, and like I said I used it at the hospital a lot too I just had um back labor like I had back contractions for both of my kids so I needed a back um, something to kind of make my back feel good and this works even better to me than any medicine so that's this um, and also has different timers which my other one didn't have it has automatic like one hour, two hour, four hour, eight hours, um, or you can keep it on, which is really good because sometimes you fall asleep and you don't mean to keep it on. It happened to me, so that's good that it has timers on that. The other thing that I've been kind of swearing by, and I use this the first pregnancy. I love that I can reuse a lot of the things I use in the first pregnancy, 
and it's a belly binder. So I got this one from Amazon. This one is so beat up. It's got like rips in it, but I really like it. And the Velcro is starting to go a little bit. So you can see it has a rip right here. See this little rip because I use it so much. Um, and then when I washed it, it kind of made it get a little funky. Like it um, warped it a little bit, but I still use it. And I use this like as soon as I got home from the hospital. They say like everything is in your hips, waist, stomach is really flexible up to six weeks. So if you wear this belly binder, it kind of like puts everything back into place. It's not really for weight loss or anything. It's more for like support and like kind of healing. So I'll put it on for you guys. I like to wear it over um, a tank top. Okay, so I put it over a tank top because that way it doesn't irritate my skin. And you just do the two straps here. And you can make this as tight as you want. And this has really helped my stomach go down a lot because there's a lot of swelling and a lot of liquids that still need to come out. So I actually have this one and I have another one I bought on Amazon Last Pregnancy, which is like a three piece, which it's the three piece one is a lot tighter, which I'll probably use like as my stomach goes down even more. But this one I think is easier and more comfortable. You don't want it to be super, super tight, like where you can't breathe, but it helps you kind of support. And it's good even if you had a C-section, C-section or vaginal delivery. Um, and yeah, I'll continue to wear this up, up to six weeks. I've been kind of on and off of it, um, but I, I definitely think it definitely works. My stomach is a lot flatter, um, quicker, I feel like, from using that. So if you're trying to get out all that excess blow, excess liquids, and flatten up your stomach, I really swear by that. Um, something now, we're going to move into the breastfeeding boobies. So that was definitely something that was really kind of rough um, both times. It was a transition into breastfeeding. Um, I had engorged breasts and I was dealing with um, blood blisters on my nipples and really a lot of, a lot of pain. So it was kind of like really, it hurt really bad um, if you've ever had to deal with that. So I was a little bit more prepared this time around and I made smarter choices. So it still hurt, but it, I got over it faster. So when the boob milk comes in, when the colostrum comes in at the hospital, it's not so bad. But with me, I think with the baby learning to feed, he wasn't latching properly. Like you have to make sure the whole breast is in their, um, in their mouth. And I think the baby was just like on the top of the nipple. So I caught blood blisters and they really hurt. And then every time he fed, I was like, ugh, like it was like hurt, hurt, hurt. So the thing that I used last time and I use again this time are the Lansano soothing gel pads. And basically they're like cooling and you, if you can keep them in the fridge. And I pair them with the Lansano nipple cream. You don't have to get this brand of nipple cream, but this is the one I bought from Target. So basically it just cools it and just like makes it feel good. And also like the cold on the breast um, just makes it kind of like you feel like not so inflamed. So this is what it looks like. It's reusable up to three days. I bought two packs of those because I knew how to use them. And then um, as I was like having the blisters heal, I would use that Lansano, the Lansano um, nipple cream with the disposable, specifically the disposable breast pads. So that way it wouldn't stick to anything and like hurt as it was peeling off. Um, because I remember I would not use the Lansano nipple cream and then when it would, it would, my nipple would stick on here and it would hurt. So um, that combined with, I would take Epsom salt, so you can get any Epsom salt from anywhere, and I would do like Epsom salt soaks on my breast. So I would just take paper towel and I would just um, douse it in a mixture of warm water and the Epsom salt and just lay them on my nipples after I breastfed. That way it kind of helped heal the sores on my nipples. And I think about after about a week, I was good. But I think it would have been worse if I didn't do all those things. Okay, so I was talking about um, breastfeeding. but It was like crazy. I had to go feed the baby. Toddler woke up. So let me go ahead and finish. So um, after the, um, the nipple cream, the um, breast pads, I also love these nursing tanks. I'm gonna show you mine real quick. So this one is from Amazon. I bought multiple packs of them. Oh, I didn't even put this one up after I fed the baby. But it has the, you know, easy clips. And I have this in black, nude, pink, 
um, multiple blacks. I love them because they're, I wore them for maternity as well as for um, postpartum because if you can get nursing slash maternity wear, that's the best. But um, I just stick my breast pads in here and I find that these are way more comfortable than nursing bras because they stretch more. They accommodate bigger or boobs, like when my big boobs are huge with milk or smaller. Um, and they don't cut in like bras. I like how they just go over my whole stomach and then I wear my belly binder over them. So I bought multiple of this kind. I also have another one where it's more flowy, which I like, but the back is a racer back with lace and that has gotten messed up in the, the washing machine. So that is like, I wouldn't wear that outside the house, but these are great for layering underneath t-shirts or underneath like um, a kimono type of some sort. So I love these, these are like definitely must haves. Um, also when it comes to breast engorgement, two things that really made a difference this time is I use a manual pump as opposed to, um, hand expression, which last time the lactation consult consultant at the hospital told me to express, um, my milk by my hand when I was engorged in the first, in the first week when it's like so super, super painful, but that doesn't cut it. So what I would do is I would alternate between using, this is the Medela Harmony pump. So it's just like a manual pump and I would get like one or two ounces out of each breast, not a lot, but just enough to kind of relieve the engorgement. Or um, I use this now every single time I breastfeed. So what I do, this is the Haka. I actually bought another one. This is an updated one. I like it because it has a cap. This is like a manual pump as well. So what you do is you peel this back and then you squeeze it and then you release it and you suction it to your breast. I put this on the other side where I'm not breastfeeding and it stays on really well and it's just like the manual suction. I'm able to get anywhere between one to three ounces as the baby feeds on one side. So that way it's always balanced. So I'll breastfeed on the left, put the hawk on the right and the next time I feed I'll switch and I have a, um, a tracker app where I know which side I fed on. And because of that, um, I'm able to collect like eight ounces of milk a day um, and then I just freeze it. So it's almost like Especially if you're at home and you don't have to like electric pump, maybe if you're at like, work or something, you can just have this hanging from your boob while you're breastfeeding or doing something. It's really convenient and very, very affordable. So, um, I bought the Willow electric breast pumps that are cordless, but I'm like so overwhelmed because I'm on the Facebook groups and they, though they're convenient, and they seem really, really tricky. Where this seems like this will match my lifestyle because I am just home primarily with the kids, especially during this maternity leave. So if you're really like looking to find an easy way to relieve early engorgement, as well as to kind of pump easily at the same time, this is a way, cause they're very unobtrusive. So like I said, I use this every single time I breastfeed now. And when I feel like I'm super engorged, I'll use the Medela Harmony pump, which I bought last time with Bella. And I'm glad I still have it. Um, so also something that I found really convenient, and this is what one of my husband's friends told me, was if you keep like a mini fridge by your bed, it's very helpful as well. So I have a skincare fridge and I took a picture, which I'll show you. And I keep it next to my bed plugged in. You can put it like on your nightstand. And inside I keep this and then like a larger empty Medela bottle. And every time I um, feed in the middle of the night, I'll keep, I'll pour, this into the larger milk storage bottle and I'll keep them both in the fridge so I don't have to wash them out because I feed at least like three times throughout the early night between midnight and like you know 9 a.m. when I have to um when we wake up so super easy super convenient I got my um mini fridge from Walmart and I think it was under $50 or something like that so um you can use it for skincare you can use it for breast milk you can use it for sodas whatever you want but right now I'm using it for breast milk um, I want to share what I what I wore with um, now we're going down there so with like my nine pound baby I had a vaginal tear which makes sense because it was huge um, and it was very painful so um, I, I use the same thing I used last time which the hospital gave me which was the mesh panties so they had another version of the mesh underwear which wasn't completely mesh it was more like still like stretchy but just like not all the way mesh short but these I've been, I have so many of them from the hospital this time and last time. I, I'm still wearing these because I am bleeding down there still and I might bleed up to six weeks, which is normal. 
But these little perinatal fold packs, it's basically like a pad, so you can see the sticker that sticks to the underwear. And like you fold it and it kind of cracks and the water releases and it's cold. And I use these every single time I like went to the, I would wear it for like until I went to the bathroom and it would like collect the blood and liquid as well as cool, keep it cold so that way the tear wouldn't hurt. And I definitely was like hurting, hurting for the first two weeks. So I was so glad I had enough of these to last me multiple days as well as the mesh underwear. And I would just throw them away each time I went to the bathroom, especially in the early days when I was bleeding a lot. And I still have some left. So like if you can get those from the hospital, cool. Um, another thing that really helped me was, and let's see. Oh, and these are um, the pads that the hospital gave me. So I had enough and I'm still using them every day. They are huge. You see how big these are? So these were like great for collecting, you know, all the blood and stuff. And I would also put these witch hazel pads on the pad and that would um, provide a cooling sensation. So the hospital provide these. I know that you can also buy them. I'm not really into the hack where you freeze, um, you know, maxi pads with witch hazel liquid because they're way too cold. I tried that and it was like icicles down there. So that didn't work for me, but the witch hazel wipes that you put inside your underwear on the pad, I liked. And I bought this. This is a donut pillow. So this was really helpful. I would put it in the chair that I would nurse on so I wouldn't have pressure like on my like bottom where my tear was. So I don't have to use it anymore, but I'm glad I had it for those first two weeks. And who knows, I'll need it. Maybe I'll need it at some point in the future for because it's for any kind of like pain down there. So I think that is it. Oh, I forgot to show you the perinatal ball. So this is the Frida um, perinatal ball. This thing is so much better than the one they give you at the hospital. So basically for the first like couple weeks, instead of wiping down there, um, you're supposed to just spray water to just kind of clean it. So that way you don't accidentally tear your stitches. So I'd spray and then pat with a toilet paper. But this one has the, the angle is everything. Like you can get it way more clean than this. So it's definitely worth the money to invest in that and it's not that expensive. So I'll link that as well. So I'm going through my list um, and that is it. My um, postpartum must-haves. I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I'll link everything down below in the Amazon store. And if you have any questions or if you have any favorites, definitely leave them in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.